Ghana is one of the most politically stable countries in Africa. It has had seven successful elections without the outbreak of conflict and three times government has been handed over from one political party to another since its return to multi-party democracy in 1992. Now even though these elections seem peaceful from a distance, a closer look will show more and more violent acts during general elections and also during by-elections. Political party foot soldiers, popularly known as vigilante groups, are often seen to engage in acts of violence and lawlessness before, during and after elections and politically related activities. The groups that are called political vigilantes are usually young people, macho, well-built-up people who are sent to electoral areas, polling areas to, as it were, you know, bully people. They intimidate voters to the extent that people might even decide not to vote. Violence um, that sends a message of fear and intimidation towards a political opponent and motivated by politicians. That is what political vigilantism means in our sense. So it is simply that our leaders, uh, governors, uh, political leaders, uh, have decided that they do not have confidence in the state security apparatus that they control and they set up and want uh, other options that will be wholly under their control, uh, irrespective of the law, without regard when necessary to due process and the law. And that, that seems to be the, the major cause for Gelati is to be flourishing. They, they backed by power and they backed by resources. So that, that's why it's, it's becoming lucrative for the youths to want to belong to them. In the last few years, the activities of vigilante groups have increased and Ghanaians are starting to become more and more worried about the implications of these activities especially the threat they pose to the stability and peace of the country. Okay. Research has shown that there are about 26 political vigilante groups across the country. With names, a lot more groups exist that don't have names. They tend to form around influential personalities. And we wanted to understand what caused these political vigilante groups to form. So we spoke to a few members of party-affiliated groups to find out what they think about it. The vigilante group, they are members of the party, but they do whatever they love without the control of the party. Using force, to fight for your right. That is my understanding of a vigilant. If a political party leader goes out to campaign up to 2 a.m. in the night, sometimes the state sanctioned security apparatus do not feel or deem it necessary to give them protection up to that time of the night. And so it becomes imperative for them to create their own vigilante groups to give them the protection that they need. 
during election we were having so many problems with the security. They were always in favor of the ruling party, NDC. So we decided to form this security group just to protect our votes so that no one will cheat us during election day. I have to stand on top of a ballot box for 12 hours, 15 hours, in order, just in order to ensure that the, the party that I'm representing is not cheated. When you suffer for the party and you are waiting for your share and you didn't see it, you come out and act so that they will remember of you. Even in Tamil here, if you, sometimes if you didn't raise up a violence, you will not get your share. Now that you came to power, I sacrificed my life. I fought for the party to come to power. Now when you come to power, you are going to tell me that disappointment is part of the game. You want to give me a key instead of the, uh, I mean, the mobile phone that you promised me. Definitely I'm not, I might not be happy. That's sometimes, that's the reason why some of the villagers will take the loss into their hands, their own hands. There is a saying that if persuasion fails, force must be applied. So if I'm persuading you to fulfill my right, and you are not understanding my pain, I also use force to make sure I also go through the process. If you have a vigilante group in your, in, in, in your opponent's camp, that has constantly seen you as a target for violence. Without the state-sanctioned security apparatus doing anything to protect your interests, naturally, it's a natural phenomenon, naturally, you would also want to form a vigilante group to protect your interests. So after listening to all this, I guess it's understandable that these people want to stand up for themselves. But let's think about it. In the long run, are they going to benefit from belonging to these groups? Let's not also forget, our laws in Ghana don't even allow these groups to exist. Laws have been put in place now. Now it is unlawful for people to belong to any of these vigilante groups. Parliament just passed that. Enforcement of the law is not enough to say that we have the law, but it must be forced Enforcement of the law, irrespective of where it is coming from. Politicians should stop asking the police not to do anything. The police, if they are professional enough, will not take instructions from politicians. Once somebody has broken the law, they should deal with that person in accordance with the laws of the land. And when cases are brought before courts, expedited action is needed, you know, because justice delayed is justice denied. We spoke to another person who preferred to stay anonymous. Now, he has been involved in political violence before. He doesn't have very fond memories of it. Several times, I was like a rally. Rally me when I saw Camille, Timmy, at Tower. So, not to me, I was able to get a unit because of Dangmas, I've been so good that I was able to get a job with Shiva Lapsi. And the because Kakuchana kuwa chini 
amba mina ba ko bien en dire wala because yun pa wi en jaha zo so mane je on ma la advice teren tamma wada banye za kura be be la bani bia mane ni chaare de ya amma en pour nous now here's another story we found of a person who regrets his involvement with these groups he used to be a stunt bike rider for one of the party affiliated groups until his luck changed he had a few accidents and no one came to his aid ndanye ni mvoso ngom bar moto pati ni ma puni ni bar moto ni ma mal de jam de jama ka nirba suh paligra ka to che ka shab mal zaga ni pati ni ma tin nun de lala bin yahar ngoma ka da ti che ka nya accident pataba bui to ni nya lala accident ni ma mbuto nya tabro sum zankana pati ni ma pulo sala lai kama nan gbalngo din nda nan le shamma anya ya so gbalngo de kabe ndon la yinga one year eight months so ni ra zang di in la shele in jirna in te dara ka kwara ka tiarna ka ngada nan ni ma la la ma za ndon yinga ndirza ha ni nya dan sima ni ra nan nya le pam pam ma de bjar ma mun da ka ti bjar nguna bjar nda bjene a ni salan ka o mang ni wala ko ye o ye nan be ko yan yel ni bjar ba mulo so bjar nguna di nya sa yin nda nya bjar so mba bwar ni nya bjar n shel ma ka lan pa ga mba biso i think the conclusion is clear it is better not to get involved in political vigilante activities if i were you i would choose to stay away from political violence i don't benefit you don't benefit and ghana doesn't benefit so what's the point of it appears to me also that there are many of the young people who have not come to the appreciation of the value of their own humanity their own humanity why god made them humans and because they have not come to that appreciation they allow themselves to be reduced from the height of their humanity and glory to become tools for violence that are being used by politicians they must understand violence can affect them in their lives they can be maimed for life they can be maimed for life they can lose opportunities for life they can lose their lives for no good cause before you have a future the nation is yours they keep telling you that the future is yours but i'm telling you that if you don't take the commanding heights of today you have no tomorrow because it is today that gives birth to tomorrow if you destroy today you don't have tomorrow tra min la de jelme kan nan da ay nan le katinye danga so ba akali nyin nyan nyan ntib amanga le zo nyar mo tir sokam te jim sugulo tikal vigilantism is a threat to our peace a threat to our security a threat to our development and a threat to our um, unity as a nation <laughs>